the support that that gives to cancer survivors, to the families, and to those going through their treatments now, uh, it's priceless. I'm fighting for my friend Cindy Lewis. I actually met her because of the Devils. When we first became season ticket holders, it was her first year too. I met some of them online down at one of the beach bashes, and the rest of them I met here, you know, just on the mezzanine. And it's a great Devils family. When Sydney Lewis became a Black and Red member, little did she know that the friends she met became family that supported her when she had breast cancer. This year is extra special. Um, during COVID pandemic and the quarantine, I went through um, breast cancer. I had um, a double mastectomy and I am third generation in my family to survive. We got the diagnosis that she had uh, breast cancer. Thankfully, she was able to get into remission soon after. It just it was really scary to think that we would lose someone that meant so much to us that we just met. Cindy's story is just one of the many that were shared here and celebrated on the Devils Hockey Fights Cancer Night. The Devils celebrations highlighted the stories of 12-year-old cancer survivor Lucas and 9-year-old Christian who is undergoing treatment. Christian is a youth hockey player who was diagnosed with cancer in April 2021. He is currently undergoing treatment at RWJ University Hospital and Rutgers Cancer Institute of New Jersey. A native of Manahawkin, New Jersey, Lucas was diagnosed with acute lymphoblastic leukemia in 2015 and completed his treatment in 2018. It was very um, nerve-wracking. I was definitely very nervous, but once I got out there, it was very exciting and I just loved everyone uh, showing their support. Not only is it important for us to recognize the, the fight that we have with cancer and to raise awareness, to raise money, but the support that that gives to cancer survivors, to the families, and to those going through their treatments now, uh, it's priceless. Placards were placed at seats and money was raised for the RWJ Barnabas Cancer Center. The, the monies that are raised go in a number of different directions. They go directly to supporting patients and their families that are in their fight against cancer, but there's also the investment in research. And at the Rutgers Cancer Institute of New Jersey, we're constantly trying to be on the cutting edge of new therapies and new treatments to battle cancer. The Devils are auctioning off the placards and tonight's warm-up jerseys all to raise funds for the RWJ Barnabas Health Cancer Center. If you want to place a bid, go to NewJerseyDevils.com slash HFC. For NJD.TV, I'm Katherine Bogart.